Well, for one thing, none of the accusations made against my father were ever proven. This is Naomi Dado, and I'm going to talk about fighting misinformation in the, in the upcoming elections in 2022. In March 2010, I interviewed Bongbong Marcos, who was then running for senator. I asked him if he had a moral ascendancy to talk about fighting corruption considering the accusations against his father, the late Ferdinand Marcos. Marcos Jr. then replied, Well, for one thing, none of the accusations made against my father were ever proven. Number one, because they're not true. <laughs> Number two, nothing at no point in my political career have I ever been under suspicion for any wrongdoing. Did the Marcuses have ill-gotten wealth? Former Justice Artemio Panganiban said, Yes, let us recall some of them assigned by the different chief justices and justices during several presidential regimes. He wrote in an article at the Inquirer. Perhaps, he said, the most damning is Republic versus Andigan Bayan, penned by later C.J. Renato C. Corona. In this milestone, the court forfeited in favor of the Republic over $658 million plus interest from January 31, 2002, owned by Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos but hidden in front foundations and organizations. Yuchenko versus Andigan Bayan reconveyed to the Republic the 111,415 controlling shares in the Philippine Telecommunications Investment Corporation. And then there's another case, Marcos Jr. versus Republic, which upheld that the $3.37 million Arelma assets are ill-gotten and seized in favor of the national government. The estate of Marcos versus Republic, which deemed Imelda's Malacanang collection of jewelry as ill-gotten. On September 24, 2021, the Sandigan Bayan 2nd Division awarded PCGG bank certificates from the Royal Traders Holding Company, Inc., part of the Marcos ill-gotten wealth worth 96.03 million pesos and $5.4 million plus annual 12% interest from 1993 until fully paid. The newest award is in the range of 1 billion pesos to 1.65 billion pesos. Ano ang katotohanan? Maraming pagpapasya ng Supreme Court na nagdedeklara ng bilyon-bilyong kayamanan na kuha ng mga Marcoses. Hinatulan si Bongbong Marcos noong 1995 ng Quezon City Regional Trial Court for tax evasion habang nakaupo bilang ang gobernador ng Ilocos Norte. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. Stay safe. <music>